So here we have uh, February's collection update. A lot of this is going to be Best Buy, not Best Buy, Dollar Tree. I was just looking at the Best Buy pile. You can probably find this stuff at your Dollar Trees, maybe, because it's the stuff that came in, like, the new stuff. Great White Shark from BBC Earth. This is just, like, one episode of Great White, apparently, from BBC Earth. Water Divin Diviner. I just got it because of Russell Crowe. History Channel, World War II from Space, looked interesting enough. Journey to Space, film from IMAX and giant screen theaters. The Replacements. Forgot to show the back, so nobody actually cares. There at the back. Back. And back, I showed uh, Great White Sharks back. Song to song. Mostly just because I like the cast. Breaking Dawn Part 2, just because I don't have any of these films except for the one Eclipse movie and New Moon and a Steel Book because it was cheap. And now I have this one, so now all I'm missing is Part 1 and the original. I'll eventually find them at Dollar Trees. Maybe in French like the other three. And Rise of, of the Empire 300 in 3D. Yeah, the only reason I got this was because of 3D. Everybody said how lousy that one is compared to the original. Now for the big uh, DVD part. Astro in a very nice uh, shiny slipcover. Looks like an looks like an Avatar knockoff. Moon Trap Target Earth also looks like a uh, cheesy sci-fi film, but looked decent enough. The Congress. I recognize those two, the the actors on the bottom. Animal Odd Couples. I like watching cute animals every now and again. Exposing the Da Vinci Code. I like the Da Vinci Code, and why not? Ah, this is someone that's trying to uh, say how the Da Vinci Code was fake when... They've said it was fiction, so. My Boy Jack from BBC. Starring Harry Potter in a World War... One movie. Green Lantern, Rise of the Red Lanterns. 13 more episodes of the Green Lantern series. I was able to find another one last month. Young Doctor's Notebook. This is actually a TV series from B that air on BBC America. Yep, BBC, right there. And I don't know how long it is. Don't know why it says four on it, but hey, it's Dollar Tree. They do weird things. The Guardians. This sounds like it's all rumbling around in there, so I might as well open it. Defenders of the World Unite. This is a uh, Russian, like, Avengers superhero type thing. I remember everybody talking about it back a couple of years when it came out originally. Like, oh, look how great this looks, or look how cheesy this looks, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, for a dollar, might as well try it. Worst that happens is it sucks. see how bad it is. It's just a hair. Nice inside, though. Kind of rare when DVDs do that. Ah, that's why. This is broken. Well, it won't be staying in the case anyways. DVDs and the not TV shows go into sleeves. Three Superman movies. I actually had one of them. 
I just didn't have these two. Only reason I got it. Digimon try confessions in a slipcover. But the, but the case is broken, though. Panel with the cast from 2017 anime. I honestly don't know which ones are which because I was able to find two different ones. This one was apparently a Walmart exclusive, but it was at Dollar Tree now. Coexistence. Um... I know this one came after this one because of the uh, copyright dates. But I definitely don't have number one. And this one comes with a decal sticker inside. This is a Walmart exclusive, and that's what's rolling around in there. The New Adventures of Batman. These are not the... Uh, Adam West cartoons. These are... Oh, it is the Adam West cartoons. As I said, it was based on the uh, TV shows like the... You'll see the Superman one in a moment. Like the ones that were made before Adam West's show. Public Enemies and Apocalypse Batman and Superman movies. I had Public Enemies. I didn't have Apocalypse. Winging it a... TV show, like a kid's TV show from Canada. The Stream, Join the Dork Side, a movie about a bunch of kids that like Star Wars. Winx Club, Season 1, Part 1, and Season 1, Part 2. I actually remember this airing on Foxbox. I remember watching the first season, but after that I stopped watching it. So, you know, for two bucks, I'll buy the whole season. Six Days. Looks like a corny action flick. The Godzilla TV show. At least ten episodes. That includes the first 10 episodes. So if there are more, they probably were never released on DVD. And here's the Superman one I was talking about. The new Adventures of Superman, because these are the ones that are the like original cartoon filmations of them. Like before the TV show. Allosaurus, Walking with Dinosaurs special. I really liked Walking with Dinosaurs when I was younger. And this was before BBC Current, because it's black instead of purple. So now I have this one, because I have Walking with Dinosaurs. I got it at Walmart a few years ago, and now I have the Allosaurus episode. The Wonder Years, Season 1. Even though you can get the entire series for like 16 bucks, this one is the one of the, the reprints they were doing for a little while with the original music, and then they stopped. So... Eh, why not? I only went to Goodwill twice during the month, and I only got one thing. The original Bad Boys. Like I said, I was going to watch the uh, first one and the second one before I watched uh, number three. And instead of just watching number three. Mars Needs Moms. I got this actually today at uh, FYE for $6.99. Why? Because this movie is out of print. Disney doesn't want anybody to really know about it. So, might as well have it in my collection. Even though I'll probably never watch it. Or if I do watch it, it'll be once. Because that movie's supposed to be really crappy. Continuum Season 2 from Big Lots for 5 bucks On Blu-ray. Ooh. But don't get excited. The other ones don't have them. Dominion Season 2 on DVD. I'm guessing Seafy was dumping a lot of their TV shows at Big Lots. Because there's Dominion Season 1.
Continuum Season 1. Now, this show I actually wanted to watch when it was first airing in that. I just never got around to it. And then it ended. So for, for 15 bucks, I have the whole series. And for Dominion, for 10 bucks, I have the whole series. Continuum Season 3. 2 is randomly on DVD, on Blu-ray. But it's like the other show, uh... Mr. Selfridge, season one was on Blu-ray, the other ones were all on DVD. Animal Kingdom, the first season. Once again, a show I wanted to watch, just never did. Dracula, this says season one, but it's the only season, because this show was cancelled by NBC. Van Helsing, season one, another Seafy show. That started off life as a TV as a TV show based on the uh, Hugh Jackman movie, and then turned to this. I found this at Five Below, which finally completes my uh, Jurassic tins, the Lost World circle, circle tin. I only got it for the tin. I got this for nine dollars at Best Buy. Iron Man three. I don't like this movie. But now I only need Black Panther, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and Infinity War to have the complete Infinity Saga. I figured I'd have all the other ones. Might as well. Actually, this was free because I had a free uh, gift card. I got these today at FYE on a buy one, get one free. This was in a case. That's what it's a sticker on it. But my best, my uh, FYE only had like certain ones you could get for buy one, get one. They weren't like all of them. So, yeah. I never I didn't own Rick and Ralph, so now I do, and I didn't own this film, so now I do. And I paid 40, so it was just 20 each. So a regular price, but I got steelbooks instead. This I got, I don't know why. It's I'm keeping it closed, but yeah, it does have a uh the back has a rip on it. I may just sell it when it sells out, maybe. Because I honestly probably won't watch it. I'm the only person in the household that likes this show, and if I watch something by myself, it's going to be on a phone, so really no point in me having these. It's just I liked it. Midway on 4K. I like this film. I don't care what other people said. I almost bought the Target edition. But then I figured I liked the film enough I'd buy a 4K version. And the last thing on the pile is Ford vs. Ferrari Target edition. I couldn't get the Best Buy edition because it was sold out. So I went and got the Target edition because I liked the film enough that I wanted a special edition of the film. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. What was your favorite pickup of the month?